Hi. So, a couple things. Didn't get one posted last week. Sorry. Thank you for your understanding. Also, thing two, I'm not in my work uniform. What? Uh, yeah, it was Mother's Day weekend and I went up to Indiana and I had planned on putting out a video and had even recorded and was going to edit it Wednesday like I normally do. But then Tuesday night, I got off work and came home and hopped on my bank account on my app to make sure I had enough money to get gas and discovered that someone had withdrawn $400 from an ATM. It wasn't me. Long story short, somebody skimmed my debit card. Don't know who, don't know how. Uh, and they decided to just go to town and take out $400. So everything's been taken care of. The bank, like now everything is over and done. The bank has already reimbursed me. I have a new card. My old one got canceled. It just made for a very hectic, stressful week. Uh, allow me to elaborate why. So I moved here in January and haven't gotten a new bank or credit union down here yet because I wanted to pay off my credit line from my Fort Wayne bank first. Good news is, paid it off, fantastic. And on my to-do list was to find a new credit union down here that's like a sister credit union because as long as I find one that's still in the co-op, I can go to specific branches and withdraw cash in person or I can use any co-op ATM with no fees. Uh, which is what I've been doing since I'm down here. Need to research and find a good credit union for when I'm down here. But to go back to Tuesday, there was a lot of panic because I had planned on going home to Fort Wayne Friday. I had to close down my card, which means I couldn't use my card to pay for gas from Nashville to Fort Wayne and back. I knew that I could get to the bank to get a new card and it was really easy because they just print them in every branch, but I didn't know how I was gonna get to Fort Wayne. Luckily enough, I had remembered that I have four or five tithings and cash because I've kind of been saving them until I found something that God's like, use it for this. So it was kind of like God had my back, which was very nice. But I didn't need to worry about it too much anyway because I ended up going to a co-op branch and like withdrawing money in person, which turned into a whole other like stress thing, okay? So it is Thursday, right? I want to leave early, early, early Friday morning to start my drive up to Indiana, okay? I know that I have to go to the credit union Thursday. I had just gotten paid on Thursday. I knew I had plenty of money. The card had already been canceled. They couldn't withdraw anymore. The bank had already submitted the fraud, paperwork, all that jazz. I told the managers, I'm like, hey, I need to leave earlier than what I'm scheduled off today because I have to get to a credit union. They're like, okay, yeah. So about four o'clock, 4.15, I was walking out of the store. Get in my car. It's Thursday, it's the beginnings of rush hour in downtown Nashville. I've never gone to this location before. Work is only like 12 minutes away from this branch and they close at five. So I'm like, okay. I have 45 minutes. I have plenty of time. It's not going to be an issue. I get on 65 in the middle of rush hour and I turn off an exit early and didn't realize it. So now I'm going off this exit. I'm like, oh no, reconfuting. And then that's when I realized like traffic is stopped. And I'm like, what is going on? There had been a car accident. So I'm stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. It is now 440, 445. I'm starting to freak out. And then my gas light starts going off because my gas tank is low because I was going to fill up on gas using my debit card. I finally get past the car accident, get turned around and driving to the credit union, almost pass it because it's it's a remodeled house, like an all brick house on a hill. Turn up in there, go inside. I made it. I have like seven minutes to spare. I walk up to the counter and she's like, hi, how can I help you? And I'm like, I am not going to be an easy help. I apologize. She's like, okay, are you here for the co-op thing? I'm like, yes. She goes, okay, well then I need your member number and a form of ID. I'm like, okay, no problem. And I have my member number ready and I pull up my ID. It's this Tennessee temporary license that I just got. It's a whole nother story. I said it all in the last week. I might include it on this week, but let me get back to this thing. I go to give her my paper ID and she's like, hmm. We're not, we can't, do you have like your old plastic government issued one? I'm like, no, they they took it. They didn't give it back. They said I couldn't have it back. They, they gave me the paper one. Yeah, we don't take these. Sorry. You need to have a government issued ID that's the actual ID, not just a paper copy. Are you kidding me? Like, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I like, mm, start, this, the thing starts to happen. I'm not able to breathe thing. And then I look at my purse and that's remember, oh, I have my passport. So, and I just, cause I just happened to grab it that morning cause I knew I was going in person to withdraw money. And so I grab my passport and I'm like, I, I have my passport. She goes, oh, that works. Totally fine. And like, totally does not get, like there was like a full blown panic attack going on. So I get the money and I made it to Fort Wayne fine. And they gave me a new debit card, which is great. And then I, I get back home today. I'm like that's why my bags are still over there. And uh, guess what came in the mail? That's right, my plastic 
Tennessee driver's license. Look at that. Look at that. They got the skyline up there. There's me. There's a whole story about that photo. And then like something else I really saw. I don't know if I'll be able to show it, but let's see if I can get it. Catch the light just right. Oh, oh, right there. Look, look. There's a trouble cliff on it. That's what I sign stuff at work. Cause I'm nothing but trouble. Get it? Trouble clap? Nice to know I have that for next time. Mother's Day was good. It was busy. I had, uh, obviously Mother's Day. Plus we did Mother's Day for Grandma. Plus, uh, a friend of mine, Olivia, got married. It was a very nice wedding. Olivia looked drop-dead gorgeous. It was just ridiculous. She was just a beautiful bride. And then, like, I was sitting at the table watching them dance during the reception. And at one point, Brandon is dancing with Olivia and just kind of spins her around. And her dress was so flowy and she looked like the epitome of a summer bride. I couldn't even feel jealous. It was just nothing but happiness for him. I'm just, I'm really excited for him. Also got to see Georgia and Steve a Jesse, which is exciting. Got to hang out with my friends. I actually ate breakfast this morning with them. Early, early, early. Which, uh, I'm never gonna feast before driving six hours because my body was like, oh, tons of food. We're just gonna have to use every rest stop. So what normally feels like a seven hour trip anyway felt like an eight hour trip. It didn't, it didn't really help me that I got to Nashville and I'm like, I don't have any groceries at home. I need milk. I need... So I went to Aldi's. <sighs> Anyway, so let me tell you the story about Thursday. And like I said, this is recorded last week, so just kind of ignore that. So I went to the DMV, again, with new proof of address and my passport uh, to get my Tennessee license and to get my like address officially changed. I pull in and I notice that there's no line outside the door. That's a win. And there's a guy standing in the door, holding the door open, talking to somebody who's smoking a cigarette outside. He's like half in, half out of the building. And there's literally a lady standing there waiting to go into the building. Very awkwardly standing there waiting for him to finish this conversation. And the guy either A, doesn't see her, or B, doesn't care. So by the time I get out of the car, he's now inside the building. I get in line and I'm kind of looking around the place and they just had an advertisement for, I don't know what it was. It was something government. And he's like, oh, can you believe it? Like we've just gotten so fat and lazy. And he kind of like looked and then he looked away and I'm like, okay. So I'm just gonna get on my phone and read so that way he doesn't try to make conversation with me. See, I'm busy. I'm reading. Mm -hmm. Well, I was reading. On my I really was reading. But I was reading to hide from conversation that he might start. Uh, not that it dissuaded him because he started talking to the gentleman in front of him and asking all kinds of weird questions like, where are you from? Okay, okay, where are you from isn't too weird. But then it like started getting conspiracy things like, well, did you know the government tried to cover up something that happened and like go in it and I'm like... This dude didn't wear his aluminum foil hat, but I'm pretty sure he has one. I, I, I'm sorry. That, that sounds really harsh, but believe me, like I don't, I don't really think that normally with conspiracy theories. But this guy, wow. So, <laughs> I'm in, I'm in line in the DMV, and the line finally moves up a little bit. Uh, the one guy scoots forward, and he kind of scoots like out of the way, and I'm just like, what is he doing? And so I'm like, uh, sir. Are you in line or are you stepping out? And he goes, oh no, I'm in line. You just, you were pointing your phone at me. So I got out of the way. I was what? He goes, you were pointing your phone at me. So I got out of the way. You're not supposed to stand within seven feet of those. Microwaves are a real thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I can, then he like goes up next to the other guy and I'm just like, but then like the, when the, the second he said that there was a, there was this lady in the front row and she's like, And she like stood up and <laughs> walked away like to get away from this guy. And I, <laughs> if I wasn't so in shock, I probably would have found it very funny. As it is, I just made sure to stay seven feet away from him. So there was a lot of space in between us in line. I like, after I turned away, he's like, thank you. And like, he got up in line. There's like this really awkward silence, like in the entire place. Cause everybody was like, what just happened? And the guy that he was talking to in front of him is just kind of like, so what do you think about tap water? <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> I didn't say anything, but I'm like, why would you? But I mean, he kept him like thoroughly entertained for the entire time. I was just able to read my phone and not have to worry about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's talking about like, <laughs> the government's really trying to poison us with acidic levels in our tap water and like, you can never trust it. 
I just, it was quite the learning experience. And, and it, it really was a learning experience because he even said like two or three times, man, it's lucky you guys are here so I can educate you. <laughs> Luck, that's the word I was thinking. You're right. So like Thursday, I, I went to the license ranch and got my new license. It's supposed to be in the mail. Very fun. I also did something that I've been kind of putting off. There's a toll bridge that you have to cross if you're on 65 going from Kentucky to Indiana. So I cross it coming from Tennessee going home to Fort Wayne, Indiana. You can't go around it. And there's no booths for you to stop and pay a toll. It's all done electronically. Drive over the bridge and they take a photo of your license plate and then they send it to you in the mail. So when I had gone home a few weekends ago, they had taken the photo and sent it in the mail, but my address is still in Cherbusco. So they sent it to mom and dad. So mom and dad opened up my mail and like mom read me my number and I put it in the computer and I was going to pay it, but it's like, hey, it's $7 to pay it now or you can open an account and then it's going to be $2 every time you cross. Heck yeah, I'm only going to pay $2. I will be driving this bridge a lot. I saved it and I put it to the side. I'm like, I'll finish this later. And so I just opened up a new tab and kept about my business. Only when I got back to the tab, it had shut down and reset and I hadn't written down the account number that I needed to in order to pay off an invoice. So Thursday, I called the toll bridge people and like went through the robot menu until I got a human. And then I set up an account and then I changed my address. So not only did I pay the $14 from crossing this bridge, I also put $20 in the account. That way they'll just pull out the $2 from that $20 account automatically. And I changed my address. So that way when I cross it the future, mom and dad aren't getting the notices and going, oh my gosh, there's something else that she needs to pay. So no, fix that. I also went to an auto parts store and got a new gas cap. So that way when I go to do my next emissions test, I hopefully pass. That way I can get my license plates. So just to kind of sketch out my Thursday, I handled the toll bridge thing. I went to the license branch. Then I swung past Aldi's because my roommate texted me to let me know she was having a really bad day. So I got her chocolate and wine so that way it was home for her when she got home. Then I went to Sam's Club because I've been putting off buying toilet paper and laundry soap and it was high time that we got some more. And Sam's Club, you can't beat it when it comes to buying stuff that doesn't really expire and you can get it in bulk. Thank you, Grandma McBeaters. She put me on her account, so that's why I have a Sam's card. Then after Sam's Club, it was dinner time, so I went to this local restaurant that had sushi. They had a crab rangoon roll, and it was amazing. And then, to treat myself on my day off, I was gonna go see a movie, but I have like this card that is $10 a month. You pay 10 bucks a month, and you can use it once a day, every day of the week, to see a movie, and you don't have to pay out of pocket. <laughs> a movie ticket down here is like 14 bucks. This card is literally cheaper than a movie ticket, and as long as I see one movie a month, it's paid for. Obviously, I watch movies. Yes, please. I was going from the restaurant to the movie theater. I passed this store and it said gifts. And I'm like, oh, hey, I need a gift. I need a wedding gift. Parked my car. And I was getting up and getting ready to go to the strip mall that had this gift shop. And I look and there was a music store. And I was like, I'm just gonna make a detour and like go to the music store. It was like a band music store. It wasn't like guitars and drum sets, which is perfect because there's two things I need. And that is a music stand, because I don't have one, and a bass stand, because I don't have one of those either. And so I was asking them, I'm like, do you guys have music? stands and they're like yeah and then they even have rosin so if I need more rosin for my bow which is awesome and it's like this local music store which is super cool got signed up on their email thing and I already have a 25% off coupon I can use for the next time I go in I'm pretty excited and then I went into the gift store and that's what I found this gift I don't want to say what it is because I'm proud of it. It's a very adult gift. Thank you. If you want to know what it is, you can message me or text me and I would be more than willing to be like, I found them. And then like say what it is. But then I left the gift shop and I'm going out to my car and I'm like, man, I got so much stuff done today. So I'm like texting Janissa. You'll never believe the amount of adulting I've done. Success. And I'm in the car and I'm like, man, my shirt feels weird. And that's when I realized that the entire day I had worn my shirt backwards for all of it. Okay, you know, that sounds that sounds dumb. Wearing a dumb shirt backwards, you know, silly Larissa. They took my new license photo. I'm wearing my shirt backwards in my Tennessee license photo. I thought I was successful. I don't even think that they'll let me try to take a new one. Or if I did, it would be like $26 for just a stupid photo. Ah! So yeah, I'm thriving. So just to have you look again and see what a dork I am, there's the picture with the shirt on backwards because I'm an adult. But at least in getting my Tennessee plates, I am one step closer because my awesome brother David did a bunch of things to my car to make sure I would pass the emissions test. There's things that have changed 
since I moved down here. David and I get along a lot better. And I don't, I don't know if that says something about me or if that says something about him, but distance makes us get along great. <laughs> I, honestly, what I think it is, is I just don't annoy him as much because he doesn't get to hear from me. When you deal with me infrequently, you are not annoyed as much. And so I think that's a big part of it. Uh, thing number two, he's a lot smarter and he applies his intelligence more. Like jury rigging stuff on the car that like I would have been scared to touch because I don't know what the heck it's doing. And he's just doing stuff. He's like, you know what? I think it'll work if you, and then it works. I always knew he was smart, but I, now I'm just impressed. So not this week, but next week, I'm planning on going and getting my car tested the emissions thing again. And we'll see how that goes round two. All right, kind of had a lot to catch up on because I was gone for two weeks. Thank you for your patience. I apologize again for not really posting anything or even doing like a little, hey, sorry, not gonna do one this week. My bad. I'll definitely do that next time. Until then, thank you as always for spending some time with me. I hope that you guys had a great Mother's Day and really let your moms know that you appreciate them or if your mom felt appreciated. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week this week.